In this video, we're going to take a look at reviewing how we can add and subtract fractions so that the idea can be abstracted into adding and subtracting rational expressions, which means we're going to clearly show every step along the way, even though some of this you might have done mentally normally. When we're adding and subtracting fractions, we know we need to build up the denominators by multiplying by the missing factors to get that least common denominator. So we need to know what those factors are in 21 and 15. We need to combine those to be a common denominator. Well, 21, you might notice, is 3 times 7, and 15 is 3 times 5. The least common denominator, then, is made up of all of those factors, a 3, a 7, and a 5. We don't need to repeat the 3, it's already there, which means we need to multiply each fraction by what's missing. 3 and 7 is missing the 5, so we'll multiply by what's missing in the numerator and denominator. 5 times 5, then, is 25 over 5 times 3, times 7 is 105, plus on the second fraction, in the denominator, we have 3 times 5. What's missing is the 7, so we'll multiply by 7 in both the numerator and denominator. 7 times 7 is 49, over 3 times 5 times 7 is 105. We're ready to add those together. 25 plus 49 is 74 over the common denominator of 105. Let's try a subtraction problem using much the same strategy. 8 fourteenths minus 3 tenths, 14 as a denominator, factoring it is 2 times 7. 10 as a denominator, factoring it, is 2 times 5. The least common denominator, then, is made up of all the factors, 2 times 7 times 5. Again, we don't have to repeat the 2, it's already there. We just notice the first fraction is missing the 5, so we'll multiply by 5 on both numerator and denominator. 8 times 5 is 40. Over 5 times 2 times 7 is 70, minus the other fraction is missing the factor 7. So we'll multiply by 7, giving us 21 over 2 times 5 times 7, which is 70. And now we're ready to subtract. 40 minus 21 is 19 over the common denominator of 70. To get that common denominator we wanted, we simply had to build up each denominator by multiplying any missing factor, doing the same thing in the numerator so we could add and subtract the numerators.